All right, quick tip Tuesday. If you're at a property and you're looking to figure for an estimate, you ought to yourself not to assume when looking at how many layers there are, but take a few extra minutes, dig in and see. Most of the time, and I'm guilty of this too, is we typically look up under the edge here and see if you can see there's the starter, there's the shingle row, there's the starter, and there's the apron, and you assume it might be one. What's that old uh, adage, that old saying? When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Yeah, take a few extra minutes, otherwise you could have a bit of a surprise, be operating into a loss, or surprise your customer with a rather big bill. So let's switch camera around, see what we can learn on this Quick Tip Tuesday. So when you look up under here, as I said, typically there's the shingle row, there's the starter, there's the apron, but that's not always the case. I have seen, if you look up under there, you can see some more, possibly another hidden layer. I've also seen where they break the edge back, put the apron down. I've seen where they put paper and uh, ice and water on top of the apron, hiding other layers. So the quick tip here, two things really. When you're looking at it, you want to get down to the substrate, to the decking of whatever sort it is to verify how many layers there truly are. And a tip with trying to do that, if you look right here where two pieces of metal come around, there's a little thing I've learned over the years that might help you guys. Let's switch camera back around and see what we can see. So over here, it can be kind of hard to roll this up, especially if they've got apron, uh, spikes, gutter spikes, anything strapping this to. You're never going to be able to get under there. You can't get it up. You might see a possible second layer, but not know if there's more. So over the years, I've come to see if you can set up next to a piece of apron lapping like this, you could typically lift it and rock it. And you can get under here just enough to see that yes, there is indeed a hidden layer up under there. And honestly, what I'm looking for at this point is how many layers are there. And it looks like I can see the edge of the decking. There's the starter row, there's the shingle row, so it appears to be two. And you can get an accurate estimate with two. I have seen over the years where there's multiple hidden layers. You get those weakened warriors, chucks into trucks, and they just simply put another layer over, and you wonder how do roofs end up with 14 layers? Yes, 14 layers I've seen in my day. Honestly, I'm guilty of this. A few years back when I was wet behind the ears and I was new to figuring estimates and doing this stuff, I saw one, thought it was two layer, got into the job, and boy was I surprised. When we had two layer tore off and some rotten wood we went to replace, we found decking on top of two other layers of shingles on top of cedar shake, and it was a nightmare. You get into operating, big into the red, you're not profitable, and if you want to try to recoup some of that, then you got to go explain to the homeowner or like hopefully you're written into the estimate if there's hidden layers, but Again, it just makes you look bad. So take a few extra minutes, do your best to dig in, see how many layers there are so you can figure it accurately, not make an ass out of you and me and operate in the red and surprise your customers. Or you come in to be that guy like, why are you so much less? Well, it's because I didn't even look to see how many layers there are. So tip on Tuesday, look for a piece of overlapping edge, try to look up under there. And if you really have concerns before you bid it and get into the job, Maybe even take a core sample. Let your customer, potential customer know like, hey, there could be some multiple layers here. You might need to remove a few shingles, lift up a row, just somehow get a core sample of it. That's all I'm saying here. It can save you a big headache in the past because it's it surprised me a few years ago. And I learned my lesson. So quick tip Tuesday, check under, verify, until you get to the decking substrate, see how many layers there are. Hopefully the, uh, the tip helped. If you could give it a thumbs up. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video.